This is a Marshall Enterprises presentation. Peace, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I am trying to keep busy with these videos, people. When I, you know, when I get going, I get going. And when there's a lapse or when there's a break, <laughs> there is a break. But I'm on a little momentum right now, and I'm going to try to push out as many as I can within the next uh, week or so. All right. So we're going to continue with firearms. And I have some individuals that would say, oh, guns? Why are you so into guns all of a sudden? No, it's not all of a sudden. I've been into guns for a minute, and it's not a... Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm not even, even going to explain it. I'm not. I'm not even going to explain it because, you know, when when realistically, when African Americans, when Black people, when melanated people, however you want to get the description for us, when we start talking about guns, it's a problem because we're uneducated, we're uh, hot headed, we're you know we're everything but what everybody else is, just gun loving, law abiding respectful, safe, firearm owners or possessors. So keep it going with the momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, let me share my screen. I want to educate you guys, uh, those that don't know about this stuff. I want to educate you guys on some information that you may not know. And it, it helps to know this stuff. Excuse me. And we're going to be talking about rounds, ammunition, caliber, you know, uh, things of that nature, because it's one thing to own a firearm. It's another thing to actually know what you're carrying, what you're using, what you need to buy, what is the best quality, et cetera, et cetera. And let's, let's just go through it real quickly. So I am going to show you these charts and I'm going to leave a link in the description below for these items. And what you are looking at are the actual projectiles that come out of a rifle cartridge. <laughs> and this is the shell. And this is the tip that you're seeing on this side, all right? So what is the difference? The difference is when this is fired from a rifle, these things get ejected out of the side, but this projectile goes down the muzzle, down the chamber, you want to whatever you want to call it, and it goes into the target. All right. So these are the various sizes of them. Some people think that they're all the same size. They're not. It depends on the caliber and it depends on the the grain. It depends on the um uh the size, the caliber, the grain. Size, caliber, grain. All right. So I'm scrolling through this really quickly because I want to show you pistols. Now, these you may be familiar with, but they come or let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. You are familiar with either the 45, maybe the 38, the 357. A lot of people was familiar with the nine. So you got the nine and you got the 380, all right? Where's that 22 at? You don't even have it listed up here. The 22, at, <laughs> some people remember those 22s. Those, those uh, firearms is easy to get. Those handguns is easy to get. But this is the typical, I'm going to say typical because a lot of people know what the nine millimeter you know, round looks like, maybe. So this is your nine millimeter round. You know, this is your 38 special, your 44. 45, your 357, your 38, you know what I mean? So these are the pistols and these are the projectiles that actually go into the target. These here, right? The tips. There's gunpowder inside here. The pin or the firing pin hits this um, back section, which is uh, like a set of fire, rim fire, and it 
it causes an explosion. This thing pops out and goes into the target. Got it? So this is like a basic introduction for those that are not familiar with this. Some people know how a bullet works. Some people don't. So forgive me for going, you know, the, the 101 route. All right. These are the rifle rounds. Rifle rounds. This chart does not show shotguns. And I'm going to try to make this smaller so you can see a little better. And so these are the different projectiles. These are the things that they dig out of uh, targets. <laughs> I'm not going to say bodies. We're not going to talk about, you know, bodies receiving these projectiles but these are the things that get dug out of the target or these are the things that get lodged in a target all right so you see how much damage these things can do as opposed to these are these are handguns and these are rifles if you only own a rifle let's talk about home protection if you only own a firearm you are not adequately protecting your home. You need a rifle or a shotgun or both. <laughs> you need a rifle and a shot, a rifle or a shotgun or both. A handgun is just not going to cut it. It, it, will, it, will, it will help you defend or fend off. But if you are really taking fire, if you really need to suppress a threat, you're gonna to have to go reach for that rifle or you're gonna to have to go reach for that that shotgun, okay? So I'm gonna leave these charts up or I'll leave the description to these charts for you to actually look into this. Shotguns and rifles, of a good shotgun, a good rifle, you're talking about maybe 500. Uh, no, let's say from 250 to 500. Uh, am I telling you to go out there and get you a thousand dollar two thousand dollar shotgun or a two thousand dollar rifle not really you i mean you're, you're let's say you're trying to get your weapons together for your protection get what you can get for now and then improve upon it later on so if you're looking for a shotgun if you're looking for a rifle i would tell you out front you don't have to spend any more than 250 dollars if you're looking for a handgun uh anywhere from 800 and less all right well good for you know a good quality handgun and preferably buy your weapons brand new buy your weapons brand new all right moving right along i'm going to show you another chart because it, this is the chart that really packs a punch this is the american standard poster i have one at home on my wall and I'm going to make this regular size. This chart is to scale. This chart is to scale. So down here, the nine millimeter, this is a nine millimeter you're just looking at on another page. Here's a 380. If you had these rounds in your hand and you put it up against the chart, it would be exactly the same size to scale. So now if you go down the line and you look at the different sizes of the, the cartridges of the rounds, the ammunition, you'll see what packs a punch and you know what is just going to sting. Here's a 22 over here. This is 22. You know, people have died by being shot by 22. And you know, some people live or a lot of people live. But when you go down the line and you get to the bigger damage in uh, cartridges, ammunition, you know, projectiles, you know, look at the damage it does. These are military weapons over here, military. <laughs> look at this. Look at these. So <laughs> this guide is phenomenal. Here's the shotguns, you know, and the different size of the pellets. Now, if you're looking to protect your home and you don't want to cause a lot of damage, let's say you live in uh, Queens, Queens, New York, or you live in, let's say, Pennsylvania, and you live within a row of houses. If you shoot this through the walls, it may travel three or four houses. If you shoot these, it, may, it most likely will stay within your house if you're shooting at a, a threat. 
So you got to know what these things do. You got to do the research and see what these things do and the damage it causes. And be careful because it's one thing to buy a rifle, buy a shotgun and not know the velocity or know the amount of damage that it can cause. And you'll cause collateral damage unnecessarily. So you got to know what you're getting and know why you're getting it. Do your own research. Do your own de due diligence. I Three uh, nine millimeter, I three eighty, I double buck, some more shot. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the rifle rounds. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll show you a chart though. I'll show you the chart of the most popular. Now there's an ammo shortage, so a lot of the popular rounds you may be able to find because this is what everybody's using, and you'll be able to find these probably with no problem when you go uh, or or. or I should do this. You'll probably find these with no problem. You might have a problem getting these or they're going to be kind of expensive. All right. These are shotgun rounds, shotgun cartridges, shotgun ammo. All right. The very, very popular nine millimeter and 380. I went to Dick's out here in Pennsylvania and these are readily on the shelf. The nine millimeter and the 380. Everybody's carrying them. Because the, the production of these is high. Even the shotgun shells, they have a lot of um, uh, the number four bucket, the double out. They have a lot of birdshot because this is what people are using. The slugs, you got, these are kind of hard to find. You're going to have to order these. Let me show you something else about these slugs. They have, oh, this is the other chart. I need to get the other chart where it shows you the, the non-lethal rounds. Look at all of these selections of, of cartridges, ammunition. You just thought that it was a nine millimeter, three eight. Like you just thought it was a handful of. No, it's a lot of rounds out there, and the damage that these things can do is impressive, if to, you know to say the least. Let me try to find that chart for you guys with the uh, different sizes. I think it's here. Now the problem with this chart, the resolution is not so great, so you can't read you know, the different sizes down here or the different descriptions, but you can look at it here. These are rubber bullets. These are non-lethal that, you know, law enforcement used during riots. This is what they're using. Either these little bullets or these little uh, sponges and things of this nature, corks. These are what they're shooting. All right. Uh, what else did I want to show you guys? What else did I want to show you guys? I think that is... It. And if I can move this out of my way, I have a screen here. You can't see it, but it's, let me see if I can move this. Okay, move it up here. All right, uh, muzzle loaders and these non-lethal. All right, so let's go back to the description, this one here. Rifles, rifles rifles get you a decent rifle for home defense study up on the best rifle for home defense the best rifle for uh home defense the best rifle for uh suppression of uh, suppression of violence, like do these keyword searches and you'll get a bunch of people that will give you information on what is the best you could even do a youtube search what is the best shotgun that you can buy right now for home defense what is the most inexpensive one that you can buy for now you can do comparisons you can compare two different rifles two different shotguns so now you know you know what you want to get or what you should get and begin getting your your uh, funds together to make sure you're getting the right stuff all right. So this is just a little introduction to cartridges, ammunition, and the various different types that the layman, the ordinary people may not be aware of. All right. So I just do what I do. I bring information to the peoples and I'm interested to hear what is your round? What is your favorite cartridge ammunition? You know, what is your favorite um, uh, weapon of choice? What are, what, are the, what are the weapons that you possess? Do you have shotguns? Do you have rifles? Do you have uh, pistols? You know, add to the conversation. Leave a comment below and let me know what you're working with. All right? And 
where do you get your ammo from? Let's have a conversation about that. I try to buy wholesale as, or as much as possible. What I've done was I got with my nephews, got with my brothers and different things, and we all pretty much have the same rounds, the same cartridges, the same you know uh, ammunition, same bullets. So if we buy in bulk, it's cheaper than just buying a box of, you know, a box individually. So get with other people that you know that, you know, have um, f weapons, that have firearms, and find out what they have and try to team up with them and buy this stuff in bulk is much, much, much cheaper. And I know what I was gonna show you now. I was going to show you the law in New York with respect to rifles and shotgun permits. Rifle, Shotgun permit New York. Why am I showing you this? Because New York is one of the states in the union that has very stringent gun laws. However, a rifle and shotgun permit is the most easy to get. If you try to get a handgun permit, you know, you can get a handgun permit to actually carry in your home, like a home permit. Those are not so hard to get. But a rifle shotgun permit is absolutely positively the easiest you will ever be able to get. And what you should do, my opinion, go for the rifle shotgun permit first. Have it for six months to a year and then apply for the home permit in New York. All right. So you had you heard it here first. Uh, this is I'm going to put the link to this uh, application, and I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, as long as you don't have any uh, misdemeanors or no what do you call those violence the um, domestic violence issues, you know, as long as you don't have those issues, applying for this permit or applying for a carry permit, a home carry permit, it will be a walk in the park as long as you don't have those issues. With New York now, as far as carrying a, a pistol, eh, you're going to get some pushback. But rifle, shotgun, absolutely positively you can get one. Now, I can even show you a law in New York where, hold on, let me go to guns for, not guns for hire, uh, guns to carry. I did this on another video, but I want to show you in this one. Guns to carry. Hope you're remembering these, remembering these links. This is a 2020, uh, 2019 guide, but it's pretty much up to date because as the laws change, they will you know, correct these, uh, these, uh, these laws and these statements. So now we're going to go the state of New York. And we're going to break down what you can and what you can't do, et cetera, with respect to New York. Quick carry, I mean, uh, quick facts. Carry the vehicle, see details. See details means you're going to have to have a permit to carry in a vehicle. Um, if you have a permit, do you have to notify the officer in the car? No. In a state park? No. Uh, can you go into a place that has... Um, a no gun sign like a, a bookstore or a, a coffee shop they may have a sign in the window you can't come in with guns or a bar you know you have to see details they'll tell you in a, in a breakdown of what you can and can't do restaurants yes you can carry constitutional carry no <laughs> not gonna go there uh i wanted to show you something else where is it where is it where is it where is it types of pistols available so you can get the premise or the dwelling license that's the one i'm talking about for new york the premise or dwelling now the problem with the premise or dwelling is you may have to get your landlord's approval for you to actually have a pistol in that property on that property all right so that's one of the little caveats but as long as you don't have a criminal record or like a serious criminal record you're not gonna have a problem getting that I'm trying to find, uh, it's going to be somewhere else. It has to do with open carry of a pistol, I mean, of a, um, of a shotgun 
or a long gun, long gun meaning a, a, a rifle. New York does not ban the open carry of long guns. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Carry permit, purchase permit, background checks, long guns. Here we go. Is a carry permit required? Long guns. No. No. Purchase permit required for a handgun? Yes. But for long gun? No. Registration of a firearm? Handgun? Yes. Long gun? No. <laughs> no. It is illegal to possess an unregistered handgun, not a long gun, aka shotgun or fire uh, rifle. All right. I just wanted to show you that. So please do your own due diligence. Open carry with no pistol license. There are no laws that you have to mention open carry. Think you can say little, but you must get away. Um, to carry firearm in New York, you need to look. Uh, all right. So in New York State, the state of New York, not in the city, in the, the, the vicinity of the five boroughs, you're going to have a problem if you open carry with, um, with no pistol license. Upstate, there's no law. There are no laws in New York State, the statute that mention open carry. So it, it's, legal, it's legal by default. Now, this is a... a a tricky, tricky thing. Some people is like, no, nah, I'm going to get shot at. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, <laughs> let me lay along. Let me move on. Move right along. Move right along. Move right along. <laughs> I think you caught it. But if you didn't, it's on you. So the statutes, they even mention the statutes here. This is guns to carry. And they, they reference the, 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 the penal law, the statutes with regards to firearms, magazines, rifles, etc. So Go read it. Don't get somebody's opinion. Don't listen to me. This is pointing to it. You can even go directly to put in here, you know, New York gun laws, uh, New York uh, statutes and codes on guns and uh, firearms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and go directly to the statutes. Don't listen to me because I could be wrong. I'm not always wrong, but, you know, here it is. It's laying it out what you can, what you can't do, but they highlight it here. So, that's all I wanted to show you today, people. Don't be afraid. Don't be. There's a reason why there's a lot of gun buybacks in our neighborhoods. But you'll never, ever, ever, ever prove me wrong. Find a gun buyback in Borough Park or in sprawling uh, Caucasian neighborhoods. And to some degree, this is not a black or white thing, but it really is because the things that they do in our neighborhoods is different than what they do in those neighborhoods. They have actually flea markets and they have gun shows in their neighborhood or, you know, they have get togethers where they're talking about guns. They have gun rifles and our neighborhoods they have gun buyback. They give you a laptop and taking your or they give you a basketball and taking your gun. They give you some expensive Jordan sneakers and taking your guns. What is with that? But you know and I know what that's about. But if you don't know, you, you know, you do your own homework on that. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully, you can use some of this information that I gave you. Hopefully, you are uh, your, your understanding just opening up to what is out there and what's going on. And if you don't exercise your rights, you have no rights. And lastly, if you don't, <clears throat> if you don't have it, I, I messed up my quote. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Get your shit together, people. Peace. Bud Brazzle out.